Hi guys, this is my new build, large size Dota 3D printer. It's taken me a long time to figure out very detail, you know. And I'll show you how. Stay tuned. So basically this is a clone of uh, Semi CNC Artemis. Uh, by building a large size Delta 3D printer, in before it's kind of impossible because the Delta 3D printer need very very accuracy on every respect. Right now the software can tolerate much much more error you may have, so make everything possible, you know. So it's really depend on this support. This is a Duet 2 Wi-Fi board. So that board is on market probably two years, maybe more. I still consider this is the best board. So because this board can tolerate a little bit of error you have, make home build large size data printer possible. It's really depend on this board. I really love this board. I still think this is the best 3D motherboard on the market. So what's the, what's the advantage for your Delta 3D printer? The first of all, you can see the construction is so simple. The top part, the bottom part, and the column goes up, that's it. So yeah, the 3D, the, the Delta style is much simple. Uh, that's, that's a, that's the first thing. And second of all, uh, the speed. That's very important for me. Delta still is way faster than Katisha, or Cora XY, you know, those kind of style the 3D printer. Uh, this is way faster than them. Like, uh, like this module, this uh, green work, 80 volt battery adapter for e bag can just hook up here on, on your e back frame right away. So this this module is pretty same size like my hand, okay? If you print by the Cartesia 3D printer, this module probably take you whole days. I'm not I'm not really kidding. It's true. With the Delta 3D printer, so this this module Less than three hours, so it's way faster than others. You know, that's the second thing. That's a, that's the second advantage for the Delta 3D printer. And finally, it's uh, when you when you talk about the size of the Delta, you pretty much talk about the diameter of your bed. So this is a 12 inch diameter, which is uh, 300 millimeter. It's the same uh, standard with uh, Artemis, because uh, you can you can extend this rod. So this this right now this rod is only sixty centimeter. You can have a, a one meter rod, two meter rod. <laughs> you know, make his really tall uh, Delta 3D printer. I mean, those are so easy. Cause see the rod is only. Mounted by four screw right here and four screw right here. That's all you need to do to replace the rod. Make it much taller 3D printer. So that's another advantage for a uh, Delta 3D printer. Uh, let's go through more detail of my build. So this uh, setup key is available on my website. For three ninety nine on sale right now. So if you go to a semi CNC, I mean the Artemis on their website is nineteen hundreds. <laughs> so my side up is only one fourth of their price. Really good deal. Uh -huh. uh, the difference. So they are use uh, aluminum extruder as the daughter power. I use a standard uh, you know uh, stainless steel rod. You can see when they print 
the movement is just up down up down. This movement is hundred times, thousand times by each brain. I think a stainless steel is much much durable compared to aluminum. And another hand, like I said, this is much easier to extend. You know, you can buy much longer uh, rod to uh, make much taller uh, 3D print. Yeah, that's the different. Another different is uh, Artemis has a dual color. So basically, dual color you just need an extra extruder, you know, make it dual color, because. Uh, so every setup is already available on your motherboard. Uh -huh. You don't really need to do anything else on the motherboard to make a dual color. But for me, it's like a, I don't really need a dual color because uh, dual color makes things complicated. You, when you design the dual color, it's more work. Okay. When you print the dual color, it's more work. It's slow because you have to go one go another one, you know. So, one color is good for me. But, uh, like I say, if you, you want to upgrade to dual color, you just need an extra extruder. That's about it. Uh, that's another difference. And, uh, yeah, other than that, it's pretty much the same. We have a heated bed. The bed, the heated bed is a 300 watt, you know, silicon heat bed. Uh, it's work through uh, 110 volt. So the 110 volt is way quicker to heat up than you know 12 volt. <laughs> so this bag can heat up so quick. Uh, yeah, that's the uh, heat bag. And the middle part, this uh, kind of classic semi CNC daughter arm. I probably uh, replace this. To uh, you know, carbon fiber later on. And print head, you can see my uh, print head very simple. I have one little fan and uh, LED light. That's all I have right here. You probably see another printer. So this part is so fancy. They put a lot of fans blowing under. You know. So that thing is only for the PLA, I mean the filament, this filament. If you don't use the PLA, you don't need those, okay? I don't use PLA, I never, I never want to use the PLA. The PLA is just troublemaker for me. So I print ABS, I print the PETG, right now this is the PETG, because when I was demo inside, you know, because uh, the ABS has bad snow, I, I usually put it in the ground, and covered by the cardboard box. You know? <laughs> but if I print the inside like this, I just print it with the PETG, and there's so much simple to uh, make things to print here. Okay. The other end is E3D Volcano. So when you want to print something fast, you have to use Volcano hard end. So it will melt the filament much quicker. So yeah, that's the hard end, E3D Volcano hard end. Uh, yeah, that's about the middle part. And the top part. So the motherboard is just mount under here, you know. Uh, since this is a Wi-Fi board, okay, so all control is goes through the Wi-Fi. You can control by your cell phone, you can control by your computer, it's all through the Wi-Fi. You don't have to, you know, load your, uh, you know, print job through the SD card and put it in. You don't have to do that. You just load it through your phone, you know, go through the Wi-Fi, load the file and print it. So easy, so simple. So that's why the motherboard is just mount under there. You don't, you don't really need to do anything right there. And uh, yeah, that's motherboard. They have a 24 volt power supply, and uh, your scooter and step motor on the Swiss column. Yeah, that's about it. 
And uh, yeah, everything you I try to make everything as simple as possible. Use the structure, I use the leveler, you know. The leveler is very steady, it's no problem. And the top is just a plywood, you know. And uh, I put the, the filament row just under here. Since this is a large size of data, you know, there have a lot of room, you know, available right here. So that's why I put the filament hook just right here. So you can just put the filament right here. Uh, it's work very well. And you leave top flat. You can, you know, put anything right here. Because it's flat, it doesn't waste any space. Yeah, that's my uh, whole setup. It's on sale for three ninety nine. Really good deal. If you go to the CMCC website, they have uh, Artemis sell for uh, nineteen hundred, I think, nineteen hundred dollars. And uh, I probably go through detail of the setting stuff by next video or two, and uh, show you more detail how you uh, you know confirm the software as well and I will see you next time